Oh, you know, I was reading the book of history the other night, and I read about an event of interest to all of us. It concerned an elderly gentleman named Ponce de Leon. Now, Ponce de Leon had lost his hair. He was almost down to one tooth. When he suddenly said, forsooth, I'm going to find me a fountain of youth. So he set forth that very day, and he wound up in Florida, USA. And history proclaims it to be the truth that in St. Augustine, he found the fountain of youth. The old boy drank from that fountain, although he was three score and ten. He started giving the hot eye to those young senoritas again. The fountain of youth restored him, brought him back what he once had. And you too can find the elixir of life, so don't be discouraged or sad. For there's a fountain of youth that you can find. You can find it if you're so inclined. You may say, I'm getting old. There's nothing I can do. But whether you're hot or cold, oh, it's strictly up to you. At 50, we all start to go downhill. But when you coast downhill, it's quite a thrill. When someone tells you you're passe, it's time to hit your lids. Even though your hair is gray, you don't have to hit the skids. Youth is such a wonderful thing, it's a shame to waste it on kids. So if you have it in your heart and in your mind, there's a fountain of youth that you can find. And you don't have to search for a fountain of youth. That fountain is within you. It's that effervescent expression of doing what you love to do. That's why I'm always on the go, and I have a traveling act. And I love Walter Winchell's remark when he said that I'm one old bag that never gets unpacked. <laughs> to keep up the interest I've always had is one thing for which I strive. <laughs> Last night I kept up a traveling man until almost half past five. My fountain of youth is my will to retain the pride I have in myself. So do your best with what you have and you'll never be on the shelf. And you can bet your bottom dollar any wolf who is in the wood would rather chase Grandma Marlena Dietrich than he would any Red Riding Hood. <laughs> and here is some evident truth about those who have found their fountains of youth. Winston Churchill found it. It was hard to find. The Aga Khan found it, but it's in his mind. King Farouk found it with a restaurant cashier. And Ted Shapiro found it in Miami last year. Gayla Hauser found it in his shredded wheat. When Tommy Manville found it, it was obsolete. Eddie Cantor found it, and his Ida too. And when Jimmy Durante found it, it was just like new. Mae West found it with her muscle men. Georgie Jessel lost it, but then he found it again. Ed Sullivan made a crack, and he wasn't far from wrong when he said that I found that damn fountain before Ponce de Leon. So if your fountain makes you feel like new, take my advice, don't you overdo. My fountain of youth starts bubbling the minute I hit a town. I keep showering my affections on everyone who is around until I can find a handsome young plumber who can slow the damn thing down. <laughs> There's a fountain of youth that you can find, and you can find it if you're so inclined. Oh, I have to give credit where credit is due. That was one of the late, great Sophie Tucker's nightclub songs of the 50s, The Fountain of Youth, and I love it. And I still say I've said it before, and I'll say it again as long as I sit in front of a camera, as long as I have breath in my body, as long as I have a voice. If you can't learn to laugh at sex, you have a problem with it. And as a born-again child of God, liberated and set free from guilt and condemnation, we can be a whole complete person and rejoice and, and have a sense of humor. God has a sense of humor. And we can have a sense of humor and laugh and enjoy sex, talking and joking about sex without the condemnation. And even enjoy sex for that matter. I get so tired of people that are so hung up with their narrow-minded concepts of life and what they think a Christian should be that they can't learn to joke and laugh about things that are a part of life. 
And as Sophie Tucker said, you don't have to search for that fountain of youth. That fountain is within you. That's right. It's that effervescent expression of doing what you love to do.